Hey guys, what's up? Paladin here. How you doing? So I'm uh, I'm actually kind of doing the uh, test right now. Uh, I am not recording this with my um, Game Capture HD. This is being recorded with uh, Hypercam. So what I'm essentially talking about here, this is an explanation video uh, for the ending of the last video I made. Um, what I was talking about in the last video is that you see how there's the live commentary how the green light is on that means you know the live commentary is on and then you know you've got your game audio which is uh, lagging behind a little bit if you pay close attention you, you can see a spike happening in the live commentary like see if I'm gonna get loud right now la 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 you know it hit the yellow and see in the game audio it took it a second to hit the yellow as well um, the game audio isn't really affecting the actual game audio in the background on Call of Duty Ghosts right now isn't really affecting uh the um this video because it's kind of quiet and as I'm talking it gets lower and lower anyways um but anyways moving on to the point uh what I was essentially talking about is if you see the live commentary it's, you know, live. It's everything that I'm saying right now is being projected. There might be a one second delay, but you can't really notice it. Everything that I'm saying is coming off the bar 100% as I'm saying it. However, in the game audio, you can see that every single time I speak, uh, there's a bit of a delay after the live commentary. Now, what I was talking about at the end of the video, how I got cut off, and how to prevent this from happening later, if you're doing live commentaries, is to simply wait about 10 seconds and let the game audio slowly drop after you're done making your video. Say, for example, you have an outro, or you're just simply done with the video, um, and you stop talking, and you, what you should not do is immediately hit stop recording. That's exactly what you should not do. Essentially, what you should do is say for example, say for example, you're saying um, my outro, for example, which I don't see, you know, why you would be. Okay, say for example, we're using, we're talking about my outro here. I say, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and stay sexy. Peace. Okay. See, as you can see. Um, I waited for the game audio to decrease. What I would essentially do is when you're done with your video, after you're done talking in your live commentary, I would really recommend waiting on the g even maybe if you're doing regular gameplays actually, I would recommend uh, waiting on the game audio to stop kind of... Well, actually, no, I guess this would only affect live commentary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, I would really recommend only, um, I would recommend waiting for the game audio to start dropping down. Like how it is right now. Um, but yeah, see how, like, you know, when I said, like, how it is right now, the game audio, you, you guys get the idea now, by now, you know, when I, when I said, like, how it is right now, uh, it came out immediately out of the live commentary, and then in the game audio, it took a couple seconds. What I'm essentially saying here is don't immediately hit stop recording, don't end the video really, really quickly after you just got done speaking. I'd say wait about 10, 15 seconds, maybe not even 10, maybe 5, um, okay, maybe not 5, I'd, I'd recommend 10. About 10 seconds, and watch your game audio as it starts dropping down in sound, and essentially what you're going to want to do is, after the 10 seconds are up, then you hit the stop recording button. And yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's what I noticed. And uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And remember, stay sexy. Peace.